Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to put together this video and show you this new restoration project that I'm very excited to get going. It's not going to be that intense. It's actually going to be fairly easy. At least I, I hope it's going to be easy. Um, but if it is easy, I ended up getting a very good deal on a wood planer that I'm about to show you. Then after we cover that, I want to then show you the update on the compost tea application I did in my garden, along with showing two other things that I forgot to mention on my original garden introduction. All right, let's go. This is the Delta 22590 13-inch portable planter I picked up uh, from Delta uh, from Facebook Market for $70. Now, it was after, after, you'll see here in a second why I was able to get it for $70. If you look at Amazon, this particular model is currently running for about $740, at least as of today. Now it has some required cleanup and I was anticipating that. I was, I actually headed out to Riverside again. I'm here in San Diego. I actually headed out to Riverside thinking I was going to be paying $150 for something that was in need of repair, but only cosmetic. Cause right now it appears if you look at that little where it's shiny compared to where it's rusty, apparently it, the motor doesn't go fully uh, retracted or contracted because of rust. So I was anticipating having to take this apart uh, and clean it up, um, but I was not expecting some other things. So this was in a little bit worse shape uh, than advertised, but I still got it, as you know, as a good deal. So I wasn't that upset about it. So let's talk about some of the things that we have here. So I have this lever that adjusts the height up here. I have the original wrench for loosen for for the various screws on here. Um, the all the hardware here appears to be in order here. They got the screws on both sides of the plane here. And kind of hard to see with the light, but it's there. Um, and then also I have the adjustment screws. Um, so at least everything's here on this side. However, when you come over here. This little lever kind of locks it in place and, and it provides a function. It, it's not a, it doesn't stop the planer from working. Um, however, it is an extra feature. Um, so I'm going to look online. I did a quick uh, online look and I think I may have found the handle for this and it's about $10 to order. So similar to this side, we have all the bolts for leveling things out and also the hardware um, to level the table as necessary. It is starting to miss, like some of the label here is, you know, has faded away. Um, and it definitely, you know, it, it just needs a really good cleanup here. Um, however, I think that's about all that needs to be done for this planer is just after going, take, I'm going to have to take it apart, clean it up, order a part or two. Um, for example, like another additional part that I have seen is for this handle. You know, for this handle, there's a screw that's supposed to go in there, um, and without it, it kind of it, it's kind of stripped. Uh, I may end up having this. This handle is definitely stripped. Uh, you can see it needs some cleanup. Um, so I may end up having to buy that handle. I did find that handle. That's only ten bucks too. So if I do need to replace that, um, that's only ten dollars. But I do not, at least need to buy the fastening bolt. And the reason why I picked this planer up is because a coworker allowed me to use his hand planer and I, I well here let me take a step back I got these pieces I got this log plus another two uh, from as giveaways from Facebook market um, so I saw the I saw the profile here and it looked like if I if I I, get, I turned it into lumber it would probably be some really good boards I could use for shelves at least in an in an near around the bench that I'm producing so here are some cut pieces that I did with the chainsaw you can kind of see it's it's definitely got a pretty good view and go ahead and show you here I mean this is definitely you know it, it's pretty cool design at least I, I enjoy it um, and, and this was another log that I that I was able to kind of slice through. You'll see some of the red marks down there. That's because I was also using a Sawzall. Like with this piece here, uh, I was using multiple tools. First, I started up here with the, the chainsaw, which is why it's all rough. Then I was working on with a handsaw and a Sawzall, uh, but eventually just kind of, you know, got down to the Sawzall. Um, but when you take a hand planer to it, I mean, it looks it, it looks really cool. Again, at least I, I enjoy it. Um, so the intent is to take these boards when they're done, 
And when I actually, when I'm done with restoring this planer, I'm going to go ahead and run it through. And then um, what I want to hurry up and do is oil down the wood so it doesn't dry too fast. Now, here's my question to you. And I know right now my audience is primary family and some friends. These are the legs I'm going to be installing this bench on. So the intent is to create a mini shelf that goes across this section here, which is about 15 inches, um, to each leg to ask as a uh, to prevent me from having to do a cross member in the back. Hopefully, just this uh, solid two and a half or three inch uh, three inch shelving, similar to what I did for the top part, will be strong enough to hold it uh, as I move it around. Um, so I'm curious to know, do you think I should finish the bench? So as in, go ahead and put these legs on. What I need to do is also to finish the bench, I need to finish that vise right there. So I can use the mounting holes to go ahead and place the legs. Then once I get the legs installed so and the vise installed, I can then go ahead and start creating the shelf beneath it. Now the good thing is, is that I think maybe in, at least maybe in whole, or I might have to split it into two, I'll be able to, uh, again, same style as this, but be able to feed it through here. Now, I got to double check. It looks like it might be wide enough. Kind of. Uh, no, it's not. It's probably about... I think 15 inches is this one, and this is only 13 inches. So I'll have to do I'll have to do it in two two uh, takes. But I'll just connect them either using hardware similar to this, or I'll just glue I'll do the two parts and then glue them together using a dowel. Now here's another cool find that uh, I was able to get on Facebook Market. Um, I picked up these pipe clamps, these four four foot pipe clamps, and these two uh, Dewalt. Uh, five feet, or I think they're four and a half feet, I forget exactly, uh, pipe clamps for 80 bucks. So this was a great deal that I'll be able to use, uh, not only for finishing up my workbench, but also for finishing up uh, any other future projects. So tell me what you think I should do. Should I finish the plane and then finish the bench, or should I finish the bench and then go to the plane, planer? Finishing up this video, I wanted to do a very brief garden update. This is uh, on some of the things that not only I, I forgot to mention, but also on some of the progress in the last week since I added the compost tea. Uh, so number one, these two pipes right here, I use as worm food overflow. So when our, our compost is overfilling, whether these bins right here are uh, have too much food in them and my other composter is is not ready then i go ahead and just toss extra food into here usually if i have to toss a full load into these two by the time i by the time uh, uh we have enough food then it's um, i'm able to put into these worm bins the one plant that i forgot to mention because it's kind of hidden back here is my dragon fruit plant I have not grown this before, nor have I even tried the fruit, but uh, I figured, hey, I could probably have it growing up the side of this fence here. So I went ahead and planted it. It's been in the ground as of uh, uh, the end of summer last year, and it's it, it's growing, so it's, it's doing good. Uh, this will be the full summer it's in the ground, and we'll get a look and see how well it produces, um, given the fact that I'm also curious to see that since it's receiving water from the sprinklers on my hill, I don't know if it's getting sufficient water or too much water, uh, and that's one of the things I'll be paying attention to. Showing some of the progress from the compost tea, I wanted to highlight a few areas that I think is giving me more proof that the compost tea is working. So if you look, make sure to get in there so my finger is out of the way. This growth right there at the end is new. Um, so if you recall from the last video about a week ago, I said there had been no new growth on this plant. And I was hoping the compost tea would then spark enough nutrition or biology into the soil so that uh, the plant would start to take and not only start to take, but start to thrive. And at least that's my initial sign saying that it's doing all the above. And finally, finishing on the little engine that could, not only are, have the leaves grown out and the plant is doing great, as I mentioned, uh, it's already starting to grow. And we'll zoom in here on the very small leaves that are coming in. So wait for it to focus. There we go. And I'll kind of zoom on out. 
but the mango tree is really starting to do good. Compost tea is working. It's not killing my plants, and I'm very excited to see what my citrus and mango do. Thank you.